Hello, I'm going to teach you how to play eight seconds. This is a press your luck dice game about uh, riding bulls in a rodeo. Um, the game is pretty simple. Uh, there's a little bit of strategy in it. To start your turn, you draw three bulls. And they're going to be worth uh, different amounts of points each one. Uh, here, here we have a four-point bowl, a four-point bowl, and a ten-point bowl, and each bowl has a different set of moves, turns, bucks, and kicks that are required to successfully ride it. There's two uh, uh, reference uh, cards that uh, uh, give some information and also run through a, a turn. There are also foul tokens that can be earned throughout the course of a game. Uh, there are extra points at the end or can be used to re-roll uh, clowns uh, throughout the game. So on the, the dice you have a couple of different symbols. You have turns which is a, a move that the bull can do. You have bucks. You have kicks. You have blanks which are uh, just to indicate a re-roll. And you have rodeo clowns. Now, at this rodeo, there are only three rodeo clowns on staff, so if you roll a fourth rodeo clown, that means you have to be the clown, and you did not successfully ride the bull. Um, there are three different colors of dice. On the green dice, there's one rodeo clown, one re-roll, and two turns, and one buck and one kick. On the yellow dice, there are two rodeo clowns, there is one re-roll, and then there's one each of buck, turn, and kick. And on the red dice, there are three rodeo clowns, and then one each of turn, buck, and kick. There are no uh, re-rolls, uh, no blank sides on the red dice. So on your turn, after you've drawn the three bulls that you're uh, going to attempt to ride, roll the dice, and then you decide what you're going to keep and what you're going to get rid of. So the rodeo clowns you have to keep, you can set them to the side. The blanks you have to re-roll. Everything else you get to decide whether you're going to keep it or re-roll it. So in this case I have a turn and two bucks. So the other thing you have to do on every turn um, is discard a card that you're working towards, one of the bulls until you are down to only one bull left that you'll have to ride. So you need to look at uh, what dice you rolled and what you think you have a chance of rolling. Now this 10 point bull is a, a pretty good bull but it requires four turns, a buck and a kick. That's uh, six dice. I've already got two that are out of the running which means I would have to get all six of these dice to line up with that. This four point card, um, I've got two turns and two bucks that it requires. I've already got two bucks locked in and a turn, so I might think I'm going for that one. This one I'm pretty far away from. I didn't roll any kicks and uh, I've got got the buck but I would have to get rid of the other two dice and re-roll. So on my turn I'm going to discard this four point card which is going to leave me with this this four point and the ten point bull which you know I'd have to be really lucky in order to get uh, uh, the four turns and it would mean I'd have to re-roll one of my bucks um, and I'd have to get a kick also. So I'm just going to work towards this four point bowl right now. I'm going to leave the ten point bowl out. So I can re-roll my dice and I got another rodeo clown and I got another buck which doesn't help me and I got a re-roll. But once again I have to discard a card. So I'm going to discard the ten point card and at this point I can decide to either keep trying to roll to get that last turn, and remember I've got a green die here so turns uh, are slightly in my favor to come up uh, as opposed to anything else. Um, although a, a turn and a clown, there's an equal, uh, equal probability that they'll come up. So if I want to keep trying that, I can just keep re-rolling those dice. Or I can choose a dismount, and you can dismount at any time on your turn until you've uh, rolled four clowns. If you roll four clowns or you roll enough clowns where you can no longer uh, uh, successfully ride any bulls, then your turn is over. 
but as long as you still have the option of re-rolling you can choose to dismount and when you dismount you take any successful dice that you have that are, are moves not clowns and not re-rolls and you say I'm just gonna dismount and call my turn there and then for every two you can get one foul token so I'll take two foul tokens now those can be used later in the game to trade in to get a clown back or if you save them till the end of the game at the end of the game they're worth one point each so I'm gonna save those two now in a solo game you just keep going until the deck is empty and you see how many points you can score before the uh, before the deck is empty in a multiplayer game your turn would be over you'd pass the dice to the next person they would get the dice and then they would draw three bowls so here we have a six point a four point and another four point and then they ro roll the dice and uh, let's see one two three clowns and we have two turns two kicks and a buck so I can kinda of look at these and decide what I want to uh, what I want to successfully ride now I've already got enough to ride successfully ride this four point bull if I want to or I could push my luck and use the two turns use my kick and my buck and try and go for the six point bull with the kick but I'm, uh, I'm not gonna push my luck today I'm just gonna go straight for a, a good ride which is going to give me two kicks and two turns and say that I successfully ride that now I have a buck left over I have one good die left over and when you have a good die left over that'll also get you a foul token which again can be used to either reroll a clown or uh, as a bonus point at the end so now I've scored seven points so far I have a four point bowl that I've ridden plus I've got three points in foul tokens so I can pull three more I've got two two pointers and a ten pointer so I've got a reroll and two clowns and here I've got uh, two bucks a kick and a turn so again I have enough to get this uh, this two-pointer right away if I wanted to or I can work towards this uh, this ten-pointer and I'm gonna push my luck this time I, I need to get a bull or a buck and a uh, turn in order to ride that I've got my two re-rolls I can discard something since I've already got this locked in I'm just gonna kinda hold on to it and make a decision later and I'm gonna discard that two-point bull and so now I have these two that I can work for, towards. So I'll roll my dice. And I got two re-rolls. Now again, I've got the decision to make. I can either move over here and get my two points. And if I do, I would get two points. I wouldn't get any foul tokens because I've... Or I would get one foul token because I've got one extra dice. These don't count. Or I can discard that, push my luck, and go for this. Or I can discard or dismount right now and get two foul tokens. It's a push your luck game, so I'm going to push my luck and go for my ten pointer here. So I still need a turn and a buck. And I got my turn, and oh no, I got a clown. And I didn't get four clowns, that would uh, eliminate me immediately, but I do have three clowns, which means I don't have enough to ride this bull but I do have foul tokens that I can trade in so I'm gonna turn in a foul token which is gonna get me one of these back I could trade in two and get a second one back but these are on the red dice there that's kinda of risky so I'm not not gonna pull those back I just turned in a foul token to get one back and I'm hoping for for a buck it's a reroll so again I can I could dismount right now and just take two foul tokens or I can reroll and I'm just gonna reroll again I got a turn and I'm, I'm it's a push your luck and I'm going for it and I ended up getting it so I don't get any extra foul tokens but I did get the 10 points so now I'm up to 14 points and in a multiplayer game you keep going around until somebody has successfully ridden three bowls and once somebody does then everybody else gets one extra turn and uh, the highest score is the winner 
So the bulls are worth their face values. Any foul tokens you have left over are worth one point. So this would be 16 points. Um, somebody else might have three two-point bulls and might only have six points, but they triggered the end of the game. Um, I, so this would be uh, uh, 16 points. If there's a tie, it's uh, whichever player has the least number of successful bull rides. So if I had 16 points in two bulls and somebody else had 16 points in, in three bulls, uh, I would win. Um, if there's still a tie, if two players have uh, the same number of points, uh, 16 points with two bulls, uh, then it's whoever has, uh, has the, the fewest foul tokens. So if somebody had 16 points out of two bulls, and I, so they had a 10 and a 6, I've got 16 points with a 10, a 4, and two foul tokens. The person with the two, two successful bull rides wins. In a solo game, you just play by yourself, and you play until the deck is empty. And once the deck is empty, you see how many points you're able to rack up, and then you try and, uh, try and beat your score on a, another game. Um, in a multiplayer game, when the deck runs out, you shuffle it and go again. And that is eight seconds. It's been a ton of fun. Uh, I've, I've really enjoyed playing with it. Everybody else I've uh, played it with has enjoyed it too. There are 2 point, 4 point, 6 point, 10 point, and 15 point bulls. Uh, the 15 point bulls, you can only have one, one rodeo clown, so they're pretty tough to get. But I've seen it uh, gotten a couple of times now. Uh, my friend Tony uh, rolled a 15-pointer on his first roll and was uh, was pretty excited about that. My son uh, rolled it uh, after two rolls and was pretty excited, so it's possible. And uh, it, there's there's a decent amount of strategy with deciding how you're going to handle the, uh, the foul tokens, which uh, bulls you want to discard, uh, plus a, a healthy dose of luck with the dice. That's eight seconds. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye-bye.